Hey guys, how are you doing? So as of now, whatever we have discussed with our pair arc argument concept, that is really basic. But from this tutorial onwards, I'm going to cover some important scenarios. And trust me, each scenario that I'm going to discuss over here, either it is going to be a SCJP or OCJP question, or it is going to be an interview question. So each of the scenario is going to be really, really important. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited because a lot of good things is coming for you right now. All right, so let's go together and let's understand and let's explore some different cases about variable length argument. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys, so let's go for our scenario number one. So let's start it from a really simple example. All right, so let me create a method over here. Let's say my method name is M1. And in my M1 method, I'm creating uh, a parameter, let's say a method which takes a bad arcs as an argument, let's say int number. So as I said you, this three ellipses is going to work as an array, right? So let's say I have a simple sysout over here, system.out.println, and let's say in m1 method of pair arcs param right let me say something like this all right so now let's say if i'm if i'm calling this method um, i need to create the object right so bear case v equal to new bear case so bear case is my class name then v dot m1 and if i'm going to pass one element over i mean one element over here this particular method is going to be executed all right so uh, let me open up the terminal and compile this program. All right, guys. So now let's compile this particular program. So let me say Java C, uh, var case. I'm sorry, var case dot Java, and this compiles fine. Now let's say Java dot var case to run this program. And as expected, uh, this particular method got executed. So we got in M1 method of varax param, right? All right, so right now, let's say I have a overloaded method, all right? So let me declare another method with the same name here. But here, I'm going to take a different uh, uh, argument as a parameter. Let's say int a, all right? And right now, I'm going to have another print statement here. Let's say, cop let me copy this out and let me expand it a bit more, okay? So right now, let's say I have another print statement here, and let me say this. In m1 method of int param, all right? So I have two different methods. Both the method name is m1, but one method taking a bad arcs as a parameter, and another method is taking a simple integer as a parameter, all right? So I'm, I'm calling m1 over here, passing in 10, so which method is going to be executed because both the method can handle this right so in this case what is going to be the output either it is going to be this method either the jpm is going to call this method or this method all right so right now if i'm going to compile this program again so right now let me compile the program again java c var case dot java and java var case right so as you can see, we got uh, this particular method got executed, right? A method which accept a int as a argument, right? So our output is an M1 method of int param, right? So why this has happened? Why this particular method got executed? Why not this? So this is very important to understand. So the first thing that you need to understand is that a method which takes the var arcs as a uh, parameter or as an argument JVM is going to give the least priority to this particular method. A method which accepts a var arc as a parameter is going to get the least priority and the last option for the JVM, right? First, JVM is going to check for the exact match. So do we have a method over here who's gonna accept a int as a argument or int as a parameter? Yes, we have that. So we got the exact match. So if we got the exact match over here, this particular method is going to be uh, get prepared by JVM, right? So this is going to be the last option for the JVM. So here the most important thing to remember in this kind of scenario 
always the general method uh, get the first priority by the JPM and a method which has pair arcs as an argument got the least priority all right all right so that's it so right now let's go for the next scenario all right guys so this is it for this tutorial in the next video we are going to cover a very important scenario and trust me most of the people get confused with the next scenario so do not forget to watch the next video of this series because that's gonna be really really important so I'll see you in the next video till then bye bye and happy coding and hope you'll have a wonderful wonderful day